only understands power. We will break it. Lior Ben-Ari, news agencies. The rebels in Syria announced Sunday afternoon that they had taken over President Bashar Assad's palace in the city of Aleppo, which they occupied over the weekend for the first time since the beginning of the civil war. Assad himself promised in the afternoon to fight back and declared that terror only understands the language of power, and we will break it with it. Sources in the Syrian army claim that the Syrian forces that were expelled from Aleppo over the weekend are now reorganizing and preparing for a counterattack to regain control of the city. It is the first time since the Syrian civil war erupted in 2011 that Bashar al-Assad's regime has lost its grip on Aleppo, Syria's second largest city. The Syrian opposition confirmed this dramatic shift on Sunday afternoon, marking a critical turning point in the conflict. Reports indicate the rebels, spearheading a surprise offensive against Assad's forces, have seized key military installations in the city, including the military academy and other southern military colleges. Meanwhile, pro-Iranian militias in Iraq are reportedly contemplating intervention in Syria to bolster Assad's regime as his grip on the region falters. The rebels' sudden and coordinated assault began last Wednesday and coincided with the implementation of the ceasefire between Israel and Hezbollah in Lebanon. Led by Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, HTS, a Sunni jihadist group that had been largely confined to Idlib province in northwest Syria, rebels rapidly advanced into the neighboring Aleppo region, capturing swaths of territory. Assad's forces were unable to hold their positions, and by Saturday reports emerged that Aleppo was no longer under regime control. In recent years, Assad's regime appeared to have stabilized, thanks to the backing of Russia and Iran, leaving rebel activity largely subdued. The Aleppo offensive marks the largest operation by anti-Assad forces in four years, raising international concerns, particularly in Israel, over the potential for non-conventional weapons to fall into jihadist hands. Over the past five days of intense fighting in northwest Syria, more than 300 people, including dozens of civilians, have reportedly been killed. By midday Sunday, the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, a London-based opposition monitoring group, confirmed Aleppo had fallen out of Assad's control. Rami Abdul Rahman, the group's director, told AFP the rebels now control almost the entire city, aside from a few Kurdish-held neighborhoods. This is the first time since the war began in 2011 that Assad has completely lost control of Aleppo, he emphasized. Rebel sources later claimed that, in addition to capturing the military academy, they had also seized a Russian air defense system. Regional actors are already recalibrating in response to the power shift. Iran, Assad's staunch ally, has decried the rebel offensive as part of what it described as a Zionist American satanic plot to destabilize the region. On Sunday, Iranian Foreign Minister Abbas Arachi traveled to Damascus in a show of solidarity, proclaiming Tehran's unwavering support for the Syrian government. The Syrian army will once again defeat these terrorists, as it has in the past, he declared before departing for Syria. Meanwhile, reports from the Qatari newspaper Al Arabi Al Jadid suggest that two pro Iranian Iraqi militias are deliberating whether to intervene in Syria to assist Assad in reclaiming Aleppo. A spokesperson for Kataib side al-Shuhada, Masters of Martyrs Battalion, one of the militias, alleged that what is happening in Syria with American and Israeli backing is the second phase of the siege on Hezbollah and Lebanon. He warned that the developments in Syria would inevitably spill over into Iraq, justifying potential intervention. We have fought for years in Syria, not to defend the regime, but to protect the resistance axis and the vital supply line connecting Lebanon, Iraq, Iran, and Syria, he explained. While no definitive decision has been made, militia representatives hinted that deployment could occur within days if deemed necessary. Turkey, another key stakeholder in northern Syria, is closely monitoring the situation. For years, Ankara has backed certain rebel factions against Assad, but its primary concern remains the strengthening of Kurdish groups near its border. Turkish security officials claimed on Sunday that rebel forces aligned with Ankara had thwarted an attempt by Kurdish militias to establish a corridor linking Kurdish-controlled areas in northeastern Syria to Tel Rifat, an area northwest of Aleppo with strategic significance. Turkish sources allege that Kurdish factions, including the PKK and YPG, both viewed as terrorist organizations by Ankara, sought to exploit the vacuum created by Assad's retreat. Turkey views such moves as a direct threat to its national security. 
As the rebels consolidate their gains, Assad's media apparatus has worked to downplay the significance of the developments. Lebanon's al Mayadeen network, which is closely affiliated with Hezbollah, reported on Sunday that the Syrian army had already reclaimed several towns in northern Hama province. The network also dismissed claims that rebels had captured villages in the region. Meanwhile, Syria's Ministry of Defense has urged citizens to rely exclusively on official channels for updates, underscoring the regime's attempt to maintain a narrative of control. The Syrian civil war, which began in 2011 as part of the broader Arab Spring uprisings, has left an indelible mark on the Middle East. The conflict erupted following anti-Assad protests in the southern city of Dara, which were met with a brutal crackdown by the regime. Get the Ynet News app on your smartphone, Google Play, https colon slash slash bitly slash forage 37p, Apple App Store, https colon slash slash bitly slash 3zl7inv. By 2015, Assad's control had dwindled to a fraction of the country, and his government appeared on the verge of collapse. However, a decisive intervention by Russia, coupled with support from Iranian militias and Hezbollah, enabled Assad to regain control over most of Syria. In recent years, fighting has subsided. Rebels were largely confined to the Idlib region, and Assad's grip on power seemed unshakable. Yet the Aleppo offensive has rekindled fears of renewed instability. The conflict has exacted a devastating toll, with over half a million people killed and millions displaced, many of whom have sought refuge abroad. Despite Assad's apparent resurgence, the latest developments underscore that Syria's war is far from over, and the balance of power remains precarious.